Hello there, Internet. As you may be aware, today is that most spooky of holidays, Halloween. In order to commemorate the occasion, I have determined to tell for you the most terrifying, the most horrific story your ears have ever beheld. Except that doesn't make any sense, but just go with it. However, there is one intriguing twist. I have no idea what this story will be. Instead, I will make it up entirely off the top of my head. I have discovered a website that at the push of a button will unveil six completely random words. And on the basis of those, I will weave for you this horrifying tale of woe and destruction and evil and Halloweenness type stuff. The six random words are... Deception. Blob. Bat. Fornicator. Genetic. And nude? No! I refuse to do that! The six random words are... Dozens. Demon. Skull. Blackmail. Exact. And Scream. That seems oddly fortunate for a Halloween list, but I swear that's actually what it is. And so let us begin. Life on Once upon a time, there was a man who worked at a company. It's difficult to say exactly what it was that the company did. They had dozens of different departments, all doing dozens of different tasks. This man was simply one of the dozens of different employees who worked at that company. However, this man had a deep and terrible secret that he always kept locked away within the confines of his own skull. His secret was that he never paid for anything in exact change. He feared that someday someone might discover the secret somehow and use it against him, and so he made sure that he never told anyone in the outside world. However, one day he received a mysterious letter in the mail. It had no return address, simply a dark red seal marking the outside of the envelope. He slowly opened the envelope and took the letter out. As he began to read, his eyes widened in terror as he realized someone somehow had discovered a secret. The letter told him that if he didn't start using exact change to pay for everything, his life would never be the same. He would be followed and tracked and haunted and absolutely ruined by evil forces unknown. The man was terrified. He didn't know what to do. He never carried around random dimes and nickels and pennies in his wallet. He simply used fives and tens and twenties. It wasn't his fault, but it seemed like there was nothing he could do about it. Some evil force was trying to blackmail him into submission, forcing him for who knows what reason to succumb to the evil will of the evil. I've used the word evil way too many times in this story already. Anyways, the man went home that night and lay in bed worrying about what could possibly happen if he didn't start paying for things in exact change. That night his sleep was haunted by nightmares of demons chasing him jingling bags of quarters. He he knew not what torment they might give him, but he knew that he simply had to keep running. He tried to defend himself with large dollar bills and checks and credit cards, but everywhere he went the coins were always there, following him, pestering him, occasionally pelting him, and just all around tormenting him with their presence. He awoke the next morning determined to figure out who could possibly be torturing him in such a way. He hired a private investigator and set him on the case, trying to trace the envelope, trying to figure out who in the world could possibly care that much about paying for things in exact change. The investigator spent several weeks looking for things, but to no avail. He returned to the man and told him that he couldn't find anything. There didn't seem to be any origin for the mysterious blackmail letter, or for the generally hateful feelings. The man thanked the private investigator for his services and asked him what his fee was. The private investigator did a quick bit of math and came up with a total of $97.37. The man knew he could pay that so he reached into his wallet, pulled out a $100 bill and handed it to the private investigator. Suddenly the air grew heavy as an evil grin crossed the private investigator's face. The man realized his mistake and quickly tried to take back the $100 bill, but it was too late. With a maniacal laugh and the smell of sulfur, the private investigator disappeared in a torrent of change that slowly began to bury the man. He couldn't seem to do anything. The quarters and dimes and nickels slowly rose up, past his legs, past his chest, and as it closed over his mouth he let out one final scream in agony. He hadn't heeded the letter's warning he was never heard from again. The end. And that, internet, is why you should never ever ask me to come up with a story off the top of my head, or ask me to do anything based on Halloween, because it's weird. Hopefully next week's episode will make a little bit more sense. Deuces. Ah!